You're on. Okie dokie, babe. <laughs> you see them? There's like about a hundred of them underneath me right now. Put the camera down to the bottom. Hey guys. Yeah. You see them? Yeah. <laughs> so you say we're on? Okie dokie. Greetings family. Welcome to another one of your Frank 26 UB2Bs, a short one. Although I don't know how short it's going to be, but let's see what we can do here. First of all, let me put this, uh, this is not a cockroach, okay? In Hawaii here, they call them cockroaches. And they are, what would you say, about five inches, Tink? Four or five inches, yeah. Yeah, about five, four or five inches. The cockroaches here... <laughs> need air clearance just to fly <laughs> they are humongous they are very big we're surrounded by all these birds right now oh oh look at that they're beautiful look at that what is that species look at that yellow beak and here you go here you go here you go there you go there you go go on go get it oh look at this one look at this guy isn't he beautiful how you doing buddy how you doing? Are you a red cardinal? Go boy. Go boy. <laughs> so anyways, family, we're here to study uh, the Iraqi dinar and um, I had my immune therapy today. It can make you a little tired. So if I seem that way, it's of no consequences, okay? I hope that you can hear me. Uh, let me pour, uh, let me start out by asking you, Tink. You uh, you tell me if they can hear me or not. And uh, what we're going to do, family, is I'm going to do two things. I'm going to give you um, uh, let, let let's look at the articles. Now the thing is that the articles have not been put into the final article thread yet, as of today. But right now, we're going to go ahead and deal with uh, the articles. And then Claire will put them up, and you'll be able to enjoy them. Now, the thing is, I'm going to go through these articles very quickly because there is a bunch of them. <laughs> a bunch of them. And they are just full of information. They're just packed to the rim. Okay, so we start uh, with uh, today right there. And... I encourage you, you are a member of KTFA, and I encourage you to go in because you want to look at the pictures. The pictures are amazing. <laughs> amazing. What is the title of your, your, your UB2B? Uh, royalty in Texas. That's so true. Sudani is being treated, his whole entourage. They gave him a home <laughs> in D.C., Anyways, look at this very quickly, as fast as I can do this. Al Sudani stresses the necessity of a dialogue with the United States Treasury and the Federal Bank and the International Monetary Fund. Of course, because these are the people that helped them with the monetary reform of, of, their, of their currency, of their new exchange rate, of their lower denominations that they're about to put out. And they're over there talking with them about all of that they did. They did all this work with them. 21, uh, Al Fawat News published uh, the details the, the Memorandum of Understanding. Now, there were many memorandums of understanding through the contracts that were established with Sudani and everybody that he's visiting in, in America right now. And this article is a complete breakdown of all the memos of mem uh, all of the uh, memorandums of understanding. Aloha. Let them see who that is. That is uh, the guard telling the tourists, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> so that article breaks down the memos of memorandum with understanding of everybody that you can think of. <laughs> Every powerful 
company, every powerful entity, every agency, every everybody that you can think of. And the whole article lays it all out. It's just beautiful. There's about uh, 15, uh, 14, 14 different examples. The very last one says, uh, for example, another one, an agreement with uh, Hannawell Company in the field of developing and maintaining oil fields and stopping gas burning. You know, I always told you that, didn't I? I thought it's stupid to burn off gas. Why would you burn it off? Why don't you bottle it, you know, and put it in cylinders and sell it? Uh, they are <laughs> 22. Uh, Al Sudani arrives in Houston to complete his visit to the United States of America. Yeah, because Alak needed to go and talk to the people that do the server, uh, that take care of the, the CBI website. And also, Alak, believe it or not, along with Sudani, is talking to every oil industry in the United States, actually in the world. <laughs> every, everybody that produces oil is talking to uh, Sudani and Alak right now in Houston, in, in Texas. Uh, number 25, Minister of Planning to the World Bank, our government's directions to reduce the external borrowing and schedule them. Yeah, because they're about to raise the value of their currency at purchasing power. They don't need to do any more borrowing. They will still borrow when it's necessary, though, so don't let that throw you off. Borrowing is a natural thing. It develops trust relationship between banks, uh, between the countries. 26, Sudani arrives in Houston, Texas. Hoorah. What you doing there, buddy? Uh, what you think, Frank? <laughs> 27. Minister of Oil. Uh, Kurdistan exports will soon resume and the region must hand over its oil to Somo. Fantastic. What we have is the Kurdistan oil industry standing shoulder to shoulder with Sudani. Well, I thought there was problems. Yeah. Final, let's see, what's the next one? Number 30, Sud Sudani reveals the volume of exchange with America. <laughs> it's not in the millions, it's not in the billions, it's not even in the trillions. I can't even come up with, what would it be, quadrillions or something? The amount of trade, the volume between the United States and Iraq is so immense. It is what is driving the exchange rate. Walking Stick told me today, That's super low. <laughs> that wasn't more than 50 feet off the ground. Hey, buddies. Good boys. Said Frank. Concerning the exchange rate. Yeah, Eddie's friend is right. $5 is, uh, is his opinion, but it can actually go up to, and I'm not going to tell you, it's ridiculous, the amount. And he said the reason why is because of the tapped and the untapped sources in Iraq. They determine the exchange rate. And, in right, and right now, Frank, the mining industry is talking with uh, uh, Alok and Shabibi. <laughs> <laughs> at an astronomical level. <laughs> uh, also, he said to me today, number one, what about him, sir? Active. Okay, what do you mean by that? He's going to Dearborn now. He, what, what? What? He's going, what for? To meet and greet. <laughs> Okay, isn't he going with Sudani down to Texas? He don't need to. His bank is in Michigan, Dearborn. So, um, the, and by the way, don't ask me for these satellite, well, they're not satellite, these private banks that the CBI is going to be uh, working with. Don't ask me for those, okay? Stop it. You know very well I've already told. Now, I will admit it's a lot of newbies that are pouring in, and you all are saying, you know, well, which, 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 where, where are these banks? And I already said, I'll give you these banks when the blessing comes. Not now. This is the first time and the only time I'm going to give you one. Aki's is in Dearborn. Uh, 30. Sudani reveals the volume of exchange. Well, I just talked about that. The next article. No, which one is the next one? 32. Security commissions. Iraq is in the process of launching the electronic signature. Yeah, because their currency is about to go electronic. And that's why they're talking with every electronic company that there is right now. Electricity, the grid will play an extremely important part in the monetary reform, especially when 
and it goes to floating. Uh, number 34, officially announcing the day of Ed Edrogen's visit to Iraq and revealing a strategy agreement. Now, the reason I talk about this is with Edrogen with Turkey is because, hey, wait a minute. I thought we had problems with Turkey. No. I thought we had problems with Kuwait. No. I thought we had, we got no problems. Final article number 34 again. Oh, it's a different one. Minister res uh, uh, resources to 964 n uh, networks. And it's also part two of the Edrogen uh, arrival with their oil. Number 49, Central Bank. What's up, Central Bank? Uh, forming an Iraqi American committee. You are? Out there in Houston? Yeah. What for? Uh, to address violations of violating banks. There are no more violations. Sudani, a lot, they already took care of all the banks. You talking about your banks in America? Is that what it is? By the way, I had somebody come into our forum today and infected. Uh-oh. Yeah, infected, Tink. It bothers me to no end. So-and-so uh, saw, so, so, you know, the, they say the name of the guru. Huh? Seriously. Seriously, really. Uh, so he so just said that uh, 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 Bozo just uh, uh, re-signed Executive Order 13303. Uh, you, uh, you don't know that, Frank? Or what's the matter with you? Huh? <laughs> Isn't that how he put it? Like, you know, like uh, you're stupid. Or well, you don't have this information. This other guy's got it way before you. Well, first of all, I'm not a champion of intel. If he's got something good, enjoy it. But guess what? He ain't got nothing. He's trying to grab your attention by creating things. That's what the far left does. I already told you about Executive Order 13303. Why am I wasting my time with this? Because somebody came into our form and infected it, and I need to sterilize it. It turns out that this individual, whew, I think that, that new therapy did something to me, kicking me in here. Um, so anyways, yeah. Um, Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> no, that other idiot said that. No, listen here. Bozo did not re-sign the executive orders. And the executive order 13303 is still active right now. Until May the, I don't know, 12th? 22nd, is it? I think so. Okay, 22nd, until May the 22nd. So this Guru tries to tell you that he resigned it? No, he didn't. Look, be careful who you study with, okay? You want to drink poison? Knock yourself out. But when you bring that poison to my farm, my staff tore you up. They cleaned that up really quick, didn't they? They called me, I went in there, I talked, I, I made a post and uh, took care of that. Anyways, enough of that. Um, 49. Come on. It's windy. It's windy. So, yeah, this guy, 49, says the central bank is forming an Iraqi American committee to address violations uh, of banks. I think it's more for your violations because the Iraqi banks are all set and ready to go, buddy. 50. Al Sudani discusses with a delegation from the Baker Institute about energy studies and resources, uh, researches, the four important files. Why are you talking to this energy source, <laughs> uh, Sudani? Because we need all the electricity for our reforms. Yeah, I know, I know. All righty, what's the next one? Uh, next article is, uh, <laughs> come on, get up there, get up, get up, go, 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 go. Uh, okay, well, that's about it, I guess. Hey, listen. Sudani, check this out. This is a friend of mine who sent me this. Look at this. Now, as you're watching this family, I want you to understand that this is in Houston, Texas. So as Sudani's arriving, look at that. I stopped counting when I got to up to 50. You're telling me that all of these gigantic monstrous vehicles that are escorting the Prime Minister of Iraq is bringing a program right to the world? You need this type of security for toilet paper value? Of course not. So behold and understand what's going on. This is serious. And when the delegation returns back to Iraq, we already told you, in our opinion, what is going to happen. Anyways, it goes on and on and on and on and on. There's no end to this. 
goes on for like about 10 minutes or more. In fact, let me see, Claire also gave me this. This is from Claire. Let's, let's, let's look at this really quick and see what it says. Uh, Prime Minister coming into Houston. <laughs> well, come on, Instagram. Oh, Instagram. Uh, how do you play this? Oh, okay. So there's an, uh, another example, and this one's on Instagram. Family, this entourage is massive, and it's, and it's escorting, you know, a program rate. Right? Of course not. What is escorting is a dynamic paradigm shift in the economic uh, and, 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 and geopolitical structures of this planet Earth. I know that you want a global currency reset, but I'm sorry, that's impossible. But what there is, in fact, because somebody said to me, they posted it on our forum, they said, well, Frank, the guy that you had, the bank story from Chicago, uh, they said that it was going to be an economic reform because of what's going on with the Iraqi dinar. So explain that. <laughs> Really? God almighty, man, I'm so tired of this. Well, you see, I made it very, very clear that I don't believe in a global currency reset. The gentleman said an economic reset. I believe in that a lot because of the monetary reform reset that is about to happen. And I'll tell you something, family. <laughs> the whole world knows that it's happening. The whole world is involved in this, as you can see. This is not two or three cars showing up and not having anybody meet you at the airport or get you a hotel or escort you anywhere or give you a house. <laughs> no, this is a, a, a change, a complete change in the financial structure of this planet Earth. And it has to deal with A handful of currencies, not a global reset. It's mathematically impossible. Alrighty, uh, so I gave you the articles. Now let me give you uh, Neil's report. Actually, it's Eddie's report that Neil interprets for me. So if I remember, oh yeah, we left off with the Kentucky French <laughs> Somu. Oh my goodness, is it really Claire? Claire just told me that that last video that I just showed you, the first video I showed you is, uh, is where they're in Houston, Texas. That one is in Dearborn, Michigan. No wonder number one said I'm going to Dearborn today. I'll be doggone. All right, makes sense. So here we go. We're going to start now with uh, today. Uh, 2.15 in the morning is our first report from uh, Eddie. What, honey? Too close. Too close? Okay. And here we go. Now, I'm not going to be holding it up back and forth, back and forth, so let's just do this. Uh, television news is saying that the uh, governor is seeking to liberate the Iraqi dinar and to stabilize our economy, Mr. Frank. It is because of the success of the monetary reform that our economy is about to explode. Sudan is a good job, doing a good job in America, isn't he? Number two. Television news is showing many signings of agreements with the USA companies on energy and oil, and many, many for the private sector of Iraq. This is what's going to explode our economy, they tell us, Mr. Frank. Number three, television is showing Sudani in Houston, Texas today meeting with oil and energy companies. This is the last stop on the American tour. Uh, we do know about the Michigan trip, but and and then and that's that uh then uh some ladies on the television news uh frank saying that once the delegation returns uh, from the united states of america that and uh, and this the budget amendment law will be sent to parliament uh, she's saying that one of the issues is about salaries and that this will end all issues on salary for one for the for the first time ever once and for all will all end you listening tv showing association of private banks in iraq are on tv giving praise to sadani for his trip to washington very successful they're saying television is trying to explain usa and the third the the executive order 13303 
not being signed. Ah, how about that? How about that? To the person that said, oh, he resigned it. He resigned it. Yeah, whatever. Uh, tele television trying explaining that the USA uh, did not resign uh, 13303 uh, and how the USA had control over the oil. Will you shut up? <laughs> Shake! Hey! Hey, that's better. Oh, gun it. He's mad because he took his, his, uh, his little acorn, I think it was. Now, listen to this. I'm going to do it again. Did he just burp? He went, uh. <laughs> Seriously? Say, excuse me. All that rice. All that rice. Let me do this again. Television is trying. They're really trying to explain to us that the reason why Bozo did not re-sign 13303 is because the U.S. had control over our oil money, but now it has been given back. They're explaining all of this on the television, Mr. Frank. Maybe you should tell that guru uh, to watch uh, your programs. Yeah, no, he didn't say that. <laughs> Next report, uh, the Kurds uh, force, uh, uh, he's talking about the military force, uh, the, the, the Kurds forces uh, today carried out operations to make sure. Yeah, all right, this is okay. The Kurds uh, forces uh, today carried out operations to make sure that areas in the deserts uh, uh, are clear and secure and stable. Uh, because this is going to be setting up the area for the Silk Road. Wow. Television is also showing American chapter of commerce meeting with Iraqi private banks and secure and sector representatives today. Mr. Frey, do you realize that all of these people are part of our monetary reform? Eddie. Television uh, talking about how Sudani talking to giant USA companies about blue fuel for Iraq to produce instead of burning off the uh, the gas uh, to produce this is very major because we have never done this it looks like we're going from oil to many different things like your file told us mr. Frank tapped and untapped then and by the way that, that well then I respond so I'm gonna respond now uh, uh, to everything that he just said to me in a long, a very long uh, response. So here we go. Eddie, when the television tells you that the government wants to liberate your currency, that is Sudani that represents your government. And I believe strongly that when he comes back, he's going to make an announcement to you on this subject. Your currency is liberated. It has no more sanctions on it. Mm, yes. There are many mining industries pouring into your country. They found out about your diamonds. Sudani is in Texas dealing with American oil industry, Eddie, but also Alok is in Houston dealing with the CBI server. Whoever that lady is on the television channel one, She's correct, Eddie. When Sudani comes back, he will deal with the budget and you will have your new exchange rate because that's the only way that the salaries are going to be paid. They tell you that they're going to be paid for the first time ever. They have never been paid because of a lack of good exchange rate. Things are very different now in your country due to your financial reform restructuring of your banks. The Association of Private Banks, Eddie, is uh, kissing the hand <laughs> and the feet of Sudani in Washington. Why? Because Iraq is the prettiest girl in the world and everybody wants a piece of her. Now, the release of the executive order 13303 is huge in the process of the monetary reform. And trust me, Bozo will not re-sign it. I can no, I'll leave that alone. Uh, your resources, your resources that he tapped and untapped is the reason why your bank friend suggested that they could come out at five dollars. But that would be wrong. It would cause currency inflation and destroy the monetary reform. But like I keep telling you, your country is extremely powerful, extremely rich, and it is about to show it to the world with a new exchange rate. 
Now concerning the Kurdistan forces, they stand shoulder to shoulder with Sudani forces because the Silk Road is the road to your wealth, leaving your country and coming in your country because of the new international laws that your banks are forming, or excuse me, that your banks are following, and the new exchange rate is attracting them. <sighs> then he says, Mr. Frank, television is showing Sudani in Houston at the Baker Energy and Research Center uh, meeting all the big companies on oil and energy deals. Isn't this interesting, Mr. Frank? All of this at a program rate? I don't think so. Kentucky Fried Chicken, here we come. <laughs> I say, uh, Eddie, Sudani's leadership and restructured monetary reform with the banks makes them very attractive to everyone. And then he says, hey, Frank, Eddie says that they reserved this big, this big Baker complex all for Sudani's visit. It's a massive area. Television says that the DFC is giving Iraq 50 million loan for private sector investments. They don't even want it, but they say, please take it. Uh, I say to him, Eddie, they put out the red carpet for a new golden exchange rate. <laughs> they put out the red carpet for a golden new exchange rate. Uh, I'm hoping soon after he gets back to Iraq that this will be the case, Mr. Frank. Television says, this, the, television says stage is witnessing a turning point for Iraq. Television says stage is, is witnessing a turning point in Iraq. Now what that is, is that Sudani who is saying this in America. So I interpret it to Eddie and I tell him, Eddie, the television is kind of close to what they're trying to tell you. What they're saying is that when Sudani returns, your past history also returns. Whew! That gave me chills. <laughs> That's a heck of a line there. One for Frank. Eddie, the, the television is close. What they're trying to say, say to you is that when Sudani returns, your past history also returns. He will get on the stage that he has set up and he will use those big screens to talk to you Iraqi citizens about the major, the major turning point in your country. It will all make sense to you very soon. <laughs> uh, next report, he says, television is showing a locked CBI governor in USA saying, Iraq has formed a committee with the Federal Reserve monitor actions by banks that might violate sanctions. I say to him, Eddie, a lock is demonstrating the security and stability of your new exchange rate to those that are asking them questions. Then, then uh, Eddie, uh, I say to him, Low battery. <laughs> uh oh, low battery. Oh no. Okay, real quick. Uh, uh, Frank, uh, Eddie says, yes, he, he did go back to his bank friend. He did ask him all those questions. And I'm not going to give you all those questions, family. Uh, but Eddie's bank friend uh, told uh, him, you know what, Eddie? It sounds like, like this committee that they just formed to oversee the watch for any violations as an agreement uh, to maybe release the sanctioned banks now and to give us the new exchange rate. I say to him, Eddie, your bank friend is 100% correct. The security and stability is what Dr. Shabibi wanted for the monetary reform to be released. And that's what this committee is demonstrating. Not establishing, but talking about that has been done. This is being shown in the United States to the whole world through the contracts. And then we get the in contracts, and I think it's enough to stop with there. So family, yeah, it's exciting, isn't it? I don't have a date, I don't have a rate. But I darn well know that I don't have a wrinkled shirt that tells you Executive Order 13303 has been re-signed by Bozo. Of course not. My shirts are nice and iron. My wife irons my shirts. Is that sarcasm? To the tenth degree. To the hundredth degree. To the thousandth degree. Because I'm sick and tired of people coming into my farm and bringing garbage from other people and causing me headaches. Especially on a day when I have to deal with what I have to deal with today at the hospital. By the way, they were very kind to me, very sweet. But guess what? It is now time uh, for my wife and I to enjoy ourselves. So here's what we have. Oh, oh this is chicken lao lao. No, no, not chicken lao. That's uh, uh, teriyaki chicken and chicken chicken adobo. That's right. And oh, chicken long rice. Oh, chicken nom 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 nom. And with white rice. Yeah. Okay. What's the next in here? You're gonna you're gonna kind of understand that. I have a thing. For 
should be long nights more. Mmm. Oh man. Ah. They served us at all the luau's. When I go to the luau, they say, "Want some of this? No. Want some of this? No. Want some of this? Yeah." They'll all play up with nothing but long rides. <laughs> okay, what else do we got here? Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is a rice bowl, and it's got lettuce, and then it's got poke. This is uh, poke. This is uh, ahi tuna. Mmm. This is caviar, fish roll. Get your fork. My what? Fork. No, use, we don't use forks here. Nobody uses forks here. I forgot my chopsticks. <laughs> I got to use my fork. <laughs> wow. This is going to be so good, honey. What else we got, babe? Oh. I like coin. I'm a Mexican. Cucumbers. These are mushrooms. They're they're called truffles. Nobody has seen the truffles I've seen in my life. <laughs> Anyways, these are truffles. They have a strong wood-like taste to them. Um, this is caviar. But it's the cheap nine ninety nine, nine ninety five version. <laughs> I like to eat ginger with my food, and where's the wasabi? Wasabi, wasabi, wasabi. This stuff is hot. <laughs> you take a little piece of that, just a tiny. Watch this, watch this. Like that. I don't have a chance. It clears your sinuses. It clears your sinuses. Ah, wasabi is Japanese horseradish. Woo! And ginger. We use a lot of ginger here in Hawaii. And one of the things about ginger is that you can eat this, or you can put it on your wrist if you get seasick. Ginger calms you from getting <laughs> seasick. <laughs> oh, 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 Sushi. Which is actually sashimi, to tell you the truth, because I don't eat the whole ball of rice. <laughs> I just eat the sashimi. What else we got, babe? Ooh, no, ooh, ooh. Chili water. It's called sack sack. And there's this, uh, th there's these grapes in here. Really grapes. You can kind of see them. <laughs> Grapes! You can see that? Grapes! Mmm! Really good. So, this is my wife and I, what we do. We come out here. My wife has her, her uh, Hawaiian sun green tea. And I will have my Hawaiian lily koi. And just for the experiment, I went to Jack in the Box. Don't look at me that way. I just wanted to experiment. They say that this is a taco from Jack in the Box, you know? He ran over it. Hey guys, come here. <laughs> Give it to the first.
<laughs> yeah, that's not a taco. <laughs> that's a flat flounder fish. Like my new shirt. Anyways, God bless you all. Thank you kindly for being with us. Stay strong. Stay in constant prayer. In fact, allow me to end with a prayer. Abba, Heavenly Father, I thank you for this food that my wife and I are about to eat. And I ask that you would clean it. That it would not cause us any harm. But it would bless us in the way that you bless us in everything that we do with you. Forgive me of my sins, God. Thank you for this day. And I hope that what we did right now with this conference call would bless and help someone. Thank you for your son Jesus that died on the cross for us. Be with our children, our family, and take care of my wife that I love so much. In the name of your son Jesus Christ, by the Holy Spirit, I pray amen, amen, amen. Y'all take care of each other, okay? I love you. God bless you. Why don't you just give them a little panoramic and let them see. Wow! There's a monster waves coming in. Maybe you can kind of zoom in on it, honey. It's up to you. Okay? I love you. God bless you all. Bye-bye. Is that a vulture? <laughs>